Okay, so for just a second, we're going to imagine that we are stranded on a weight loss island. Okay, and on this weight loss island, you're only allowed to bring five foods with you that are gonna help you lose weight. Okay, so think about that for a second. What would those foods be? Well, I know what my five foods would be because these are the five foods that helped me get almost 50 pounds off. So today's video, we are going to be getting into it. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Stasia and like I just mentioned, I've recently lost almost 50 pounds. It's 47 pounds to be exact the last time that I checked. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about five foods, you know, my five top foods that literally, if I had to pick only five, these would be it in terms of the foods that I felt helped contributed to that weight loss. And now, of course, there is no denying that there is so much that goes into a weight loss journey. So if you're also on a weight loss journey following a plant-based diet, then be sure to check out some of my most recent videos because I do go into a lot of detail about the specifics of how I got the weight off. I have struggled for years to get the weight to shift, so I am no stranger to, you know, what goes into having to lose weight, but it's not until recently that I kind of finally started to figure things out and things are finally starting to click for me for the first time really in years. At any rate, we're going to get into the video and be talking about the top five foods that, you know, I was eating to get the weight off and the foods that I'm still eating to get the rest of the weight off. And I know this is a day late, so happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Sorry that I didn't get a video out sooner. It has been a very hectic couple of weeks around my home, but hopefully things are gonna be slowing down a little bit. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope all of you guys were loved and spoiled. And if you didn't have anyone else doing it, then I hope that you did it for yourself. So in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I'm also gonna spread a little bit of love and help you guys to love on yourself by having an awesome Valentine's Day special on all of my weight loss recipe eBooks. So right now you can get all three of my weight loss recipe eBooks for only $8. Dollars. Now this sale is only going to last until the end of this week in the spirit of Valentine's Day. So it's the lowest they've ever been. That is literally less than the cost of one book. So if you haven't had a chance to check out those books yet and you're in need of some more oil-free whole food plant-based recipes, these were the recipes, like the exact recipes that I've been eating to get the weight off myself. So now's your chance, if you feel like spoiling yourself in a good and healthy way, then if you wanna check out those books, I will have the link posted in my description box below. All right, so let's get into the video. So the first food that I would definitely be bringing with me on this island would be potatoes. Now that includes regular and sweet potatoes. I have really, really upped my potato game while losing this weight. So for those of you who haven't been following me before, I used to focus a lot on, you know, kind of a mixture of everything actually, but I did used to include a lot of pastas and breads and of course my overt fats such as avocados and nuts and seeds in some of my dressings. So since eliminating those, I really replaced them quite heavily with potatoes as my main go-to starch. And I know that this is not new for a lot of you who are already in a whole food plant-based community because I feel like potatoes are a pretty obvious one, you know, like a number one starch that most of you guys will turn to. But for me, I like potatoes, but I never particularly loved potatoes. So for me, I would eat them, but I would also be eating a lot of other things. But since eliminating those overt fats and eliminating the breads and pastas, potatoes have seriously climbed up the ladder for me. So I have been eating a ton of regular potatoes as well as sweet potatoes. I actually just put out a what I eat in a day video um, last week and I show one of the ways how I prepare my sweet potatoes. So any potato is good in my books and has definitely been one of my staple foods while getting this weight off. And I still have about another 20 pounds or so to go, and I will definitely still be continuing to eat those potatoes. All right, so number two on my list are non-starchy veggies. Now, these are a huge part of my weight loss journey because I ate a ton of vegetables while getting the weight off. So my absolute favorite non-starchy veggie that if I only had to choose one, or at least during this weight loss journey, it definitely takes the cake as far as being number one um, is zucchini. So I ate probably an entire mountain worth of zucchini to get the weight off. So if you have my ebook, you already know what recipe I'm talking about. It's my cheesy zucchini noodles. And oh my gosh, I practically lived off of these as far as my non-starchy veggie went. 
I don't know what it is about those zucchini noodles, but I just love them. And I do find that, you know, it's one of those foods that you don't really miss the oil. Because if we're being honest, there are some foods that when you prepare them without oil, you can feel that difference. But for me, zucchini was one of them that I really don't notice it. So it's just so easy to pan fry, you know, in a little bit of water or a little bit of soy sauce or whatever seasonings I wanted to put on it and then top it with my cheese sauce. To me, those two things are like seriously drool worthy. Like I actually look forward to that meal. I would say a runner up to the zucchini would have been my carrot salad. I had a lot of carrot salad. So always keep that in mind when it comes to salads that salads doesn't necessarily have to be a leafy green salad. I loved my carrot salad because it held up really well. I could make it in advance. It was a little bit on the sweet side and you know it just tasted delicious again another one of those that i didn't really miss the oil whereas sometimes with a standard salad or a garden salad i can be a little bit lost as far as like what dressing i'm gonna put on the salad that i'm absolutely gonna love except for my caesar dressing because yeah that's definitely one of my favorite but aside from my caesar dressing assuming i don't have it made or you know maybe i'm just tired of it at that point so that carrot salad was definitely game changer for me and i had a lot of that salad while losing this weight and again if you already have a copy of my ebook then the recipe for that one is in there as well so moving along, number three on my list are my protein shakes. Now, if you're a follower of mine, then you already know all about my fiber protein shakes and how they've been a huge part of my weight loss journey. And I'm also happy to say that a lot of you are also reporting back to me and sharing that they're also becoming a huge part of your weight loss journey. So that's super awesome and makes me super happy. But if it is the first time you're landing on one of my videos and you don't have any clue about what I'm talking about, then these are my fiber protein shakes. And when I tell you, I drank these babies all throughout my weight loss. Like that is not an exaggeration. I had a fiber protein shake almost every single day. I would say minimum five days a week I had one. And simply just because A, I love the taste of them and B, they were just so easy to whip together. So if you don't know how to cook or if you're a lazy cook or if you just don't have a lot of time, then these fiber protein shakes really hit the spot because I designed them in a way that they are a little bit calorie dense so they're not just some fruit smoothie or green smoothie or something you're gonna be starving like 45 minutes later no these literally will keep you full for hours and hours and another really important part to point out is just how much I loved them. So I always say we really need to enjoy our food. And when you're trying to lose weight, you need foods that you can actually look forward to eating. So with some of my flavors like birthday cake and Snickers and Reese's Pieces Buttercup, need I say more. So I always looked forward to eating them. I rarely, rarely even ever got sick of them. So they were a huge part of my weight loss journey. Like, in fact, I don't even know that I would be sitting here right now saying that I'm 50 pounds lighter without these shakes. Like that's how crucial they have been to my weight loss journey. So if you're new to my channel and you want to check out those fiber protein shakes, I have a video here that I put out with all seven recipes, one for every day of the week. So that's free here on YouTube if you want to check it out. Otherwise, I also have a whole chapter in my newest weight loss recipe ebook. This one is like the blueprint to how I got most of this weight off. So there's a whole chapter in there, again, with all seven recipes, if you already have a copy of my book or if you want to check it out. All right, so moving along, number four on my list are oat wraps. Now, a lot of you guys might be scratching your head being like, oh, I haven't heard Stasia mention that yet or I haven't seen that yet. Well, again, in an upcoming video, I'm going to be showing you this wrap that I've been having like literally at least once or twice a week. So this one is a little bit of a newer one. I've been eating this right around like 35, 40 pound weight loss mark. So it is newer, but it's something that I really have been enjoying because once again, I cut out almost all of my breads. So it makes me super happy to be able to have a sandwich again on a homemade wrap. So I think sometime last year, I put out a video where I showed a two ingredient oat wrap. This wrap is a game changer, let me tell you, because it is so bland that it takes on whatever flavor you wanna give it. So often I just make it just as is, but you can also add spices to it as you'd like, and it just takes it on perfectly. So this has been my new go-to, and I've thoroughly been enjoying having a sandwich again. So again, I'm gonna be showing you that wrap in an upcoming video, so if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. So I'm gonna leave that one there and you guys will just have to hang on a little bit longer to find out exactly what I'm talking about. But these oat wraps have been a game changer for me and I've really been enjoying them. So I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like it too. All right, so moving along, my last one on the list are sauces. 
Now, I couldn't really decide between my two favorites and yeah, that's just the way it is. But these are the two sauces that I would say I heavily consumed throughout this 50 pound weight loss. So that would be my spicy cheese sauce as well as my Caesar dressing. Those are by far my absolute favorite sauces because as far as the Caesar dressing goes, you know, I put that almost on everything. While I have my potato Caesar salad recipe in the book and that's one of my favorites. I also put the Caesar dressing just on, you know, just as a dip on the side for potatoes. I use it as a dip on the side just for raw veggies. Um, I will even put it on rice. I'll put it in my wraps. The Caesar dressing, there's not too many things that I don't put it on. <laughs> and then my cheese sauce is just so easy. So, so easy. I even have a more complicated cheese sauce that I made, you know, I think two years ago or something like that. But since creating this much simpler version, it literally just takes but a couple of minutes to whip together. There's no huge long list of ingredients to go inside of it. It's so fast and so easy. I whip it up all the time. And I also created it to just be like a single serving or even two servings, but you know, not like some massive amount of cheese sauce. I mean, you can always like multiply the recipe if you want it to be, but I actually prefer just kind of whipping it up in the smaller batches because I always find I never get through it when I make a huge, crazy big batch of cheese sauce. But I've always said that having, you know, at least one or two really good sauces elevates your meals from like a seven or an eight to like a 10. But you really have to pick sauces that you specifically enjoy and you don't need a thousand of them. You really only need just one or two and it's gonna make a world's difference for you. All right guys, so those are my top five foods that if I was being stranded on a weight loss island for some period of time, those would be the foods that I would bring with me because I now know that they work. And the other really, really important thing I wanna quickly mention is that they kept me full. All of the foods that I mentioned today, they really kept me full. So there was never really a point in my weight loss journey that I was starving or that I felt super hungry because these foods are super filling. So you don't need to suffer through a weight loss journey, starving yourself or feeling super, super hungry in order to get the weight off. I promise you when I say this, aside from, you know, if my gallbladder was flared up or something, there are times that that does happen that, you know, that I'm really limited on maybe what I can eat for a few days. But aside from that, there was never a point where I wasn't able to eat a lot of food. You know, that's the beauty of this way of eating is that you can eat foods that keep you full, but at the same time, they keep you in a calorie deficit. And that right there, my friends, is the sweet spot. You wanna be full, but you need to be in a calorie deficit to actually lose the weight. So when you can find that sweet spot, like you hit it on the head and away you go. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna leave it here. Again, if you haven't had a chance to check out my weight loss recipe eBooks, now is the time with that crazy special, all three for only $8, and all my other individual books are on for five. So if you wanna check out those books, the link again will be found in the description box below, as well as any of those videos that I talked about in today's video, I will also have them linked in my description box below. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Again, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'd love to have you stick around. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you all in the next one.